Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Cold Waters. We are still continuing our North Atlantic 1968 campaign, the 5th Patrol, where at the end of last episode, after getting back to Holy Lock and rearming as well as repairing, spending 55 hours in port, uh, we are now on our way to the northern Norwegian coast to intercept a, uh, a resupply force. Replenishment tankers and tenders, that sort of thing. This is probably them right there. I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. I really hope I do. Oh, good. I might have. But unfortunately... Fortunately, uh, we're coming in uh, very, very fast. <clears throat> so, we're probably going to be audible right from the get-go. Clear light breeze, so that's probably upper 70s, if not 75. With a moderate duct and a weak thermal layer at 175 feet. That is 5 feet uh, below, no, I'm sorry, 5 feet above maximum depth for Mark 16 launch. So we're gonna find out exactly how this goes. On some rig ship for ultra quiet. Well we do have some depth here. Make depth one five zero feet die by So we've got a Sierra. Oh yeah, seventy-nine. Con sonar, new contact bearing three two four. Designated Sierra two. Come left to zero one two. Helm I. This might be a merchant. Well, it can either be an Ugra or a Dawn. I'm not sure. I'll just wait for us to uh, get a little bit closer, I guess. Or above the layer. Probably above the layer. Because we're not seeing any of these lines yet. Sierra 2, on the other hand, maybe a sub? Because it looks like our target is a sub tender. That is what an AS is. A Romeo? Con looks like a Romeo. And it's an Ugra. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as merchant. Okay, well, no detection capability. That's a plus. Now, which way are you heading? Northeast. Come left to three five three helm I. Uh, I mean northwest ship. <laughs> or I guess west. Okay, that works out a little better. And Romeo currently can't hear us even if we do speed up. Wait. That came from the Ugra. Um, it's only 
got passive. Oh, never mind. I was completely misreading that. Alright, but fortunately we are still too far away for them to do anything. They are in torpedo range. What is their maximum speed? 17 knots. I don't know if that Romeo is going to hear this torpedo or not. Eventually. But we're still in their baffles. That is quite a bit of distance to cover. Oh yeah, 13,000 yards. But we are good on that. Still traveling at 10 knots. No clue that we're here. Romeo showing no signs of detecting us either. I'm surprised that this is all that we're hearing right now. I mean, it's a good thing, obviously. You know, now that I think about it, a submarine tender having submarine detection equipment probably does work out for the mission that they perform. I could uh, lower my depth to below the layer. One seven five. That's not what I meant to do. Romeo is above the layer. But we are now harder to detect, so we can get a little bit uh, closer than we could before. direction that the Uger is traveling, traveling, I might want to, oh, no, there's no way they'll get that far in that, in this amount of time. Okay. What's the tonnage? 9,000. This will take two torpedoes.
Yep, you can't hear me now. Making a hard port turn. And now speeding up. They hear the torpedo, but it is already too late. Also, this torpedo travels a lot faster than they can. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Yeah, good luck with that. Directly amidships. It's definitely going to slow you down. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 2, 7, 6. And cavitating. Romeo still can't hear me. <laughs> I probably want to try to engage the Romeo after the Ugra goes down. Ugra. I don't know. I don't speak Russian. I don't think I'm deep enough to go 15 knots. But really, there's no rush. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Neat. Well, the Ugra has repaired their engines a little bit. I guess they can only go seven knots now. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. Woo. You're barely going or this torpedo is barely going faster than I am. I'm invisible. Oh. All right, that's enough playing around with the camera. <laughs> yeah, might as well just go ahead and activate it. Get it over to the target sooner. Hearing my own sub did kind of sound like an aircraft in the distance. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Yep. Maneuvering, making turns for 
five knots. Not a chance of being detected. Although I'm not going to go above the layer. Not yet. Not until the Uger goes down. Go ahead and accelerate time a bit. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 2, 6, 4. And that's going to be a dead merchant. Come left to 2, 6, 7, helm I. You can't escape. Ooh, that is a horrible list. Interesting how these ships just suddenly stop dead in the water. Make depth one five zero feet die by. All right, let's let's listen out for a Romeo. We're above the layer now. Con sonar, switching to active search. Con helm, steady course. Con sonar, switching to passive search. Oh, he's straight ahead. trying to ping for me, but that's not happening. <clears throat> Make turns for one, zero, knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. He's still listening out. There he is. On Sierra. Rig ship for ultra quiet. What does this change to after going ultra quiet? Or is that already? No. Wait a second. There's something to the north. Hmm. Come right to three, one, three, helm I. What are you? Yeah, he, he was above the layer. It is a moderate duct, so noise travels a little bit further than in regular, uh, unlayered conditions. He's getting closer. And I'm also offering a slightly broader uh, profile. So that will enhance his detection capability. Looks like I might need to turn my nose towards the Romeo. Passive numbers are still in the okay range. He may get a sniff, but he won't get anything definite. Come left to two, six, nine, helm I.
Definitely closing distance. What's the Romeo's top speed? 13 knots. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Con, helm, steady course. Come right to. Two, seven, one, helm, I. Still above the layer. Can we get a better solution faster? Con, helm, steady course. Or is he's about to ping? Con, sonar, switching to active search. Shoot two one, I sir. Con sonar, switching the passives. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra two. That is two torpedoes. <laughs> Make turns for rig ship for ultra quiet. That's not what I meant to do. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. It's a good thing I steered that right before I uh, lost the wire. Passing 300 feet. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing two, five, zero. I need to be very careful not to get ahead of my uh, torpedo. Matter of fact. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Oh, I... Th nope. He's turning into it again. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, four. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Slalom. Yeah, we made it past. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Although I guess this works out a little better. Bye. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing two, three, nine. Contact breaking up. Come right to zero one one helm I. Alright, let's go hunting for whatever we heard to the north. Con sonar, switching to active search. Still directly to the north. Suggests Come it's moving right this direction. Three, four, two, helm I. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering I. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Good. Con, maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Yeah, there was no audible signature at all. So he's either very far away or very quiet. Maybe a combination of both. So we do need to scoot. The old sprint and drift. Ship for ultra quiet. All right, let's see what we can hear. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. Actually, yeah, one fifty. Make depth one five zero feet. Die by. <clears throat> Con 
Ground sonar new contact hey. bearing zero one three designated Sierra three. Now what are you? Definitely wasn't an escort. A whiskey? Either a whiskey or a victor. But no, th this line doesn't quite match up. You are a whiskey. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as submerged submarine. Dive Traveling towards five, us. Apparently still too far away to hear. Well, to hear us. You are below the layer. Huh. Make depth to zero, zero feet, dive by. Come right to. Zero, one, two, helm, I. Con, dive at two, zero, zero feet, dive, I. Still can't hear us. And there you are. Hi there. Come right to zero, five. Six, helm I. You're about 300 feet. Let's get down there. Make depth three, zero, zero feet, die by. So as long as he doesn't ping, well, actually, even if he does ping, still not picking us up. <clears throat> it would be nice to sneak into the baffles and just do a hundred yard. <laughs> surprise torpedo launch but I mean we're already coming up on a half hour so nah what's the top speed on a whiskey 13 knots as well well okay then Not yet. I'm gonna wait until this passive number gets into double digits. Con, dive at three, zero, zero feet, dive by. And never mind. There we go. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra three. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. That is a spread. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is cavitating. Need to be careful. Make turns for two zero knots. It would be Majority. nice if you got into the uh, search cone, but I don't think you will. Woo, I'm going too fast. Back emergency, maneuver guy. Con sonar, switching to active search. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Good. Really need to get up there faster. 
but it's okay. That's fine. We'll just turn around and do it again. Don't lock on to me. Good. There we go. What? Oh, for crying out loud. Should hit this time. Okay, this guy keeps diving. So I'll lower the depth. Turn around again. Right into the side. Not right into the side. Come on. You are intentionally doing this. Got him. Jesus. Sierra three. Last bearing two, two, two. Contact breaking up. Now, was that everything? I ended up using five, five torpedoes on f three targets. Uh, such a waste. Alright, reload my tubes, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Make depth two, zero, zero feet, die by. Awesome. Well then. Three targets sunk. And only one of them was the mission objective, but that's fine. Superb effort in locating and eliminating the enemy's ability to replenish their submarine force at sea. Keep up the good work. Await further orders. Woo! NATO Naval Push. Several NATO naval groups have recently been operating unopposed. A Pentagon spokesman revealed that the enemy's ability to efficiently operate around the northern Norwegian coast had been drastically diminished for re reasons that remain classified. It was subs. Ah. NavOps has reason to believe that an enemy Cresta-class cruiser will sail from Murmansk within 72 hours and attempt a breakout into the North Atlantic through the Iceland-UK gap. This cruiser is armed with long-range cruise missiles and could wreak havoc on Vito naval supply convoys. As bad weather prevents airstrikes, you are ordered to intercept and destroy this task force. Okay. Let's get the hell out of Soviet waters. So they are going to be moving through the Iceland-UK gap, apparently. So we're going to wait right here. Um, I think the last time I intercepted it, it specifically said Denmark Strait. So I think we're going to be seeing it through probably uh, Hoffen and Torshaven. But, I mean, they could get super stupid and breeze right off the Scottish coast. Anyways, 
that's going to be for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.